my main interest is higher education, which is where I've spent most of my life in IIT as well as IIIT. So I would like to make a few points, and even in this, if you say if some people want to ask questions, then they can do it. So there is no doubt that our higher education system has lots of challenges. There is all kinds of data there, all kinds of background there, uh, employability, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So let me point out a few things about that. First of all as I see pretty much all education system that we have in higher education is teaching focused. Our discussion is teaching focused. Our design of curricula is teaching focused. Even if we look at the curricula of regulators, it's all teaching focused. While the world has moved towards learning oriented. And there's a, there is a subtle difference, but a very, very important difference. Teachers like to say that we would like to teach this. But that's not the goal of education. The goal of education is that the student should learn something. So our statement about what an education program or a course or any such thing should do should not be about what we are going to teach, but should be about what the student would learn. And for that learning, what is it that we need to teach? Now, having said that, all good in teachers, instructors across, I mean, I've been fortunate to study in IIT Kanpur, very you know, top class teachers. They intuitively knew what to teach in order for us to learn. So, so, so that was there. But if you make a teaching focus, what ends up happening and which we see across, there are elaborate syllabus to be, to be covered, so to say. And you cover it and then you just sort of check, does the student know about those points that you've covered? Nobody is really assessing or looking at whether the student has learned, because we don't even talk about what the student should have learned. So first, there is a basic, basic problem, is that we need to shift our focus on education, in education, from being teaching oriented to learning oriented. Now, if you look at learning literature, there is, of course, teaching is one aspect of that, education. The corresponding aspect of it is assessment. You cannot have some goals for learning and then assess on something else. So if you say goals of learning, let's say programming, if your goal of a programming course is that at the end of the course, the student should be able to write a 200 line program in a language of your choice using these kinds of constructs. If that's the thing, then to be able to be true to this, then you must assess the student directly on that. Can the student, he or she, write a 200 line program. Instead, all our assessment is effectively paper and pencil based. Right from school to the board to JE to, well, in colleges you have more room, especially institutes like IITs or IIITs. And that assessment because of the scale can only check for some types of things. It can only check for simple things, it can check for some kind of knowledge and not more. If you look at the Bloom's hierarchy of knowledge, by and large it can check more easily lower level hierarchy things. It cannot really assess higher level thinking. So if you, even if you put your goals as learning oriented, right kinds of things to be learned, unless you put assessment in tune with your learning objectives, nothing is going to happen because the student will soon figure out that this learning goal is really meant to be stated only. I will be assessed on this thing, so he or she will master that. So our whole assessment, I think, is just, just flawed in the, you know, right? I shouldn't say flawed, is incomplete. It is focusing on just one aspect of it, which can only do a little bit. The third thing, because you had a lot of questions about innovation and, uh, and uh, building things and, uh, and so on, I would say while we have all these uh, nice words and desire for people to incubate and to innovate, we really have not encouraged innovation, incubation at all. Right from school, we actually have always focused on do your exams well so you can get in JE. Let's talk about engineering only. I'm focusing on engineering because that's what I know. So let's take engineering. A student in school who has a natural talent from engineering if he actually, he or she pursues that engineering 
actually you will find that the student loses out in JE because the fellow was not doing his physics chemistry math. So, parents and everybody soon figures out and they say oh, ok good good if you want to do engineering first do physics chemistry math so you can crack this get into a good engineering college and then do it and then it comes here here also we teach maths etc etc and so essentially engineering keeps getting postponed of course places like iits and us uh, good institutes have various elements so that's that's where some of these people do actually thrive and become very good and we see examples of it in iit alum all the way so but we actually very actively curtail it in the starting stages and that is I do not think you can sort of take away the enthusiasm and energy at a starting stage is only hope to build after you have cracked JEE or PMT or what have you and I do not have any answers for this but as of now that is the situation and we do not do it. And finally I would like to just point out that we really do not value teaching as people, as society, as, uh, as even academic institutions often. We value research in academic institutions, uh, the, 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 the good, good professors or scientists, there are good scientists but there are not sort of good teachers, right? We, we give Bhatnagar award, this award, that award most, mostly for, for research. Uh, and that is good that is has to be that focus on that. But by and large as an academic community I do not think we uh, reward teaching enough or recognize or assess teaching well enough. Uh, those things are also changing I think all good institutes are doing that. So these are the few points I wanted to main, may raise why I think our education, higher education is not delivering the kind of understanding, deep understanding that is needed, the kind of skills and capabilities that are needed to, 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 to be valuable, we are not being able to do it because there is a whole lot of systemic issues and the way we have grown higher education. <laughs>